Good morning, everybody. I'm back again. It's been a little while. Uh, back with a brand new Rikon product uh, that I don't think is public knowledge yet, except maybe it's been seen at some of the shows. This one, uh, Rikon really did their homework on and uh, come out with a lot of innovations that, that other people don't have. And I've been using this for a month or two now. And it's, it's just like its big brother over here. It's tough and it's got plenty of power. And everything is built sturdy, which, which I've come to expect from Rikon. And the other thing I have to say, I've been dealing with them for quite a while now. Uh, if you ever have any kind of problem wh whatsoever, call them and they're going to work out the problem. You may end up even talking to the vice president, but the problem is going to get solved. Um, and I really, really can't tell you how good their customer service is. So this is uh, a new um, mid-sized lathe that's meant to be a little bit more affordable than the big um, Rikon 70, 30, 40. It's, it's uh, bigger brother, my big workhorse. Um, but this is, this is 18 inches over the bed, um, for the regular bed. And then it comes with a bed extension. You can go 24 inches over the bed. Uh, and it also has, um, a, uh, tool rest extension and also a tool rest extension, uh, with an arm so that you can, you know, work in different positions when you're. Hang on one second. When you're out here. So this headstock releases in the back. Comes up here. And I have the bed extension on. So we would take this tool rest off. We would put it down on this bed and then put the bed extension up. And over here, we're turning 24 inches over the bed now. Um, in this particular situation, I have a small shop, so I would want to be working on this side of the bed, but this lathe is actually pretty movable compared to that one. So my control panel now, they also made it portable, so you can put this wherever you want. And they also put a magnetic thing on the top, so if you just want to put it right on the top, you can do that. So let's put it back to home position, as I would call it. which would be here. Now, if you put this down, you can hear audible click when it's in line. It's right there. So you know you're right in the right place and it's lined up. Now, included in your tool set down here is a centering tool. So we can loosen this up again. And there you go. Now we know the spindle is perfectly centered. Over here, we also have a couple of spanners um, and a knockout tool. And then it does come with your little tools. I don't happen to have them in here right now. Um, whatever uh, Allen wrenches you would need, come with it. Uh, a good heavy duty tool rest again. This is pretty much their standard um, tool rest. Uh, and then your storage in here and in, in, inside the tailstock. We have some wood chips and your uh, live center and center spur and another knockout. So one thing I did want to talk about, um, I've used this and I've always, you know, we go back to the other videos, go big or go home. I like to turn big things. Um, this motor is, uh, it can either be um, one and three quarter horse or two horse and it can either be um, 220 or 110 or 120. Um, this one happens to be 120. I haven't had any problem with this motor, any feedback, nothing. Um, and I have worked it. I tend to be a gorilla wood turner and I take out a lot, you know, and I really work the motors. And in the past, I've had a couple of motors that, um, Literally, I had smoke coming out of them. And this one has lived up to the Scott test so far. And then there's an another manufacturer that I know that has had um, a lot of issues with circuit boards um, in the motor also. And 
this so far has been a shining star. It's really uh, been a trooper. So we're going to uh, get it fired up and do a quick bowl for you. I got a main power switch down on the bottom here. And you will see um, a couple of new features on this one. It does still have the, sp the um, indexing wheel. And I believe it is 24 position, 20 position, 24 position. So that's the lock and that's the not lock. On this model, they added a um, spindle lock, which is really, really clever to have. Very nice, bright blue uh, LCD LED display, forward and reverse. And once again, um, the thing that's really key with this is being able to go slow. I really like being able to go slow for finishing, for when something's really rough. Um, when, you know, when you're going to do a big piece, you don't want to be spinning at 500 RPMs. It just doesn't work. Before we turn it on, let's move this out of the way. I'll show you. We've got our inspection doors and uh, where we change. I probably should have cleaned that out of there. <laughs> where we uh, change the belt for the three different positions, you can see. What I was talking about, a low RPM from 50, and then we can go all the way up to 38.50 on this one. So bring this back up, and we will turn it on. We are in forward. This is forward. This is reverse. This is forward. Here's our speed controller. Here's our on button. And we are running at 40 RPMs. And on this low belt setting, we can go all the way up to... 890 which is a pretty good range for one belt setting to be able to go because if you're turning something pretty large and you have to start out slower and then you can go all the way up to 850 900 rpms on without even moving the belt to sand that's pretty pretty good for me push button kill switch and uh turn and release so another thing I forgot to mention is this um, bed extension can go here for the over the uh, over the bed 24 inch or it can go on the front of the lathe here um, so you can you can move this headstock and do whatever feels creative over here or you can bring this bed extension all the way to the end of the bed and it can also go here just with two bolts um, and then you're up 42 inches for for doing spindles or something long. So I'm gonna get a, a cherry bowl mounted up here, show you how this lathe works. Oh, this is a 14 and a half inch blank, 15 inch blank. Nice hand wheel here. Generally what I do when I have a, a bigger piece on, this isn't a huge piece, but it's a big piece. Um, 15 inches is a pretty big piece. What I do is um, for speed, I turn up the speed until it shows the, the first signs of instability. So that way I can turn as fast as I want and make stuff go away and still be safe. So this is a pretty good speed right now. This is 390, so we're, we're approaching 400. So we're gonna go ahead and start gouging away. Let's do this. For you who don't wear face masks,
I really like this lathe. Uh, it was a lot of fun to use. It is a lot of fun to use. I've been using it for a couple months now. They're going to be shipping these uh, October, November, I'm told, and the retail is going to be $29.99. So um, thanks very much for watching. Have a great day. And as you can see, you really can turn a 24-inch pole over this uh, the bed extension.